When Enrique was only five years old, his mother left him in Honduras in order to go to the U.S. and support them financially from there. Although he understood her decision, he missed her dearly. At 17 years old, Enrique finally decided he could no longer live in Honduras without his mother's love. He decided to embark on one of the most dangerous journeys to America. From here, Enrique begins his journey through Central America and Honduras into Mexico on his way to the U.S. He leaves with only a change of clothes, a bit of money, and his mother's phone number scribbled onto a piece of paper. Enrique, like most other Central American migrants, begins to ride the freight trains. Riding the freight trains is dangerous as it is. Many migrants who have died have been killed, falling off, or being pulled under the wheels. Thugs, gangs, and bandits are another threat. Migrants like Enrique are constantly robbed and have to fear for their life. On his eighth attempt trying to reach the U.S., Enrique has dealt with what most Central Americans have faced. He has been robbed, beaten up, and threatened with his life, but still he continues. Enrique also faces challenges hiding from the corrupt police as well as immigration officers. Enrique constantly thinks about seeing his mother again, and that's what motivates him to continue on his difficult journey. Mom? Enrique. Although the journey is difficult, Enrique's love for his mother pushes him to try to find her.